Championship tournament from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Paul Green with Bob Lee. It's been a great day, Bob. So two great matches, including our third match today. Al Nelson from Maine, a clutch spare in the third match, and Price Wood flooring Aaron St. Cyr, a beast down the stretch to help Price Wood hang on to win it. Over Universal Screening, right? Yeah. Yes, and that's going to be on Spread Eagle Productions, all matches on Spread Eagle Productions, all seven matches. Our final match today, 10 more tomorrow, start at 9 o'clock, and Sunday, 9 o'clock, 6 on Sunday. 22 teams, 21 strings, two points for a win, one for tie, no playoffs. Total point get it wins the Mixed World National Championship. Mixed World Championship. And run away is Katie Duran filling in on lane 34 gets four. And Deanna Bisbee gets three. Katie filling in for Alicia Kelly. Nice ball, but too full. Deanna, nice ball, but just off to left. These are the one, three, and the eight. Final string today. Katie trying to grab at least two here. There's Methuen Mass, which is from Bradford, not part of Havel here. It's nine, nice out. Deanna Bisbee, beautiful shot for 10. Academy Lanes looking their first win. The home team has lost all four strings so far. And Team Kim has split their first four strings. They have four points. Katie Durant just turned 33, May 21st, gets four. Half west to left for Deanna Bisbee. Deanna Bisbee, 40 years old. South Paris, Maine, out of Stars and Strikes Bowling Center. Nice ball to Katie, will go! Yes! What a shot for Spare! 19 the ball through two. One string match. Deanna's the one, four, seven, nine, and 10. You know, 105 league bowler, 172 high single, high triple, 370, 2.7 pound bowling balls, gets a six. 16 through two. Kitty Drent, average 93, high single of 128 out of Academy Lanes, April Mass. Sarah Duffy. On the right, then Kim Kanga Smith on the left. You look great. <laughs> great competitive bowler. Sarah gets eight, has the one and the three. Kim Kanga Smith, half was to right, the three and the nine. Duffy got the head pin, but too thin. He's up to three. Kim, a 106 league bowler, career best 110. Nice ball for Spare, almost. From Norway, Maine, 161 high single, high triple 406. Sarah Duffy, a nine to start. Kim's high five, 608, high 10, 1202. Out of Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. Russ Neely Jr. is here. Somewhere here today is the owner of Stars and Strikes. 10 box for Kim. For Team Tim, Team Kim, Team Kim up by six right now. For Sarah Duffy, three-one split, three-six ten on the right, seven to the left. Kim, back door gets eight, break there with a one and seven. Sarah from Lynn, Massachusetts, average of one oh seven, high single one fifty three, high triple three ninety seven. She's open, high five six forty one. Home lanes, extra lanes, extra Hampshire, home of the women's double event, September 10th. Six shifts available at 10 a.m. If you're interested, contact myself, Amanda Carroll, Mario Johnson, Owen Lamar, Faye Sawyer. Women's double event, September 10th, extra lanes. Potential $2,500 plus first place prize. Sarah Duffy, 8, 17 through 2. Smith, 9, 19 through 2. Just underway, a final match of the day, a fifth match. 10 tomorrow, 6 on Sunday. Great to be with you again, Bob Lee. Well, um, I, I am just thrilled to be in the same room as Tom Olson. Looking forward to covering him maybe tomorrow. Um, we have, uh, we're wondering, wondering uh, how many Hall of Famers might be here today. For I know uh, 
Kevin Burns is, uh, is, is looking to get their signatures on. Nance on Vestal's not here's yeah. on Hall of Fame too. That's right. That's right. Here's Billy Bloom gets three. Tom Drake seven. Two have, four seven. Had the pleasure of bowling with uh, several, you know, with Craig Holbrook on Tuesday nights this year. It was just, a, you know, the first was so hard to get used to being being around someone who was that good. Drake threw it to the right. Missed opportunity. But that's what that's what the experience is like for everybody here. Nice ten of Billy Bloom going for the. Some people go just go for the short two. He went for all three. A ten to start. Drake. It's an eight. Billy Bloom from Wakefield, Mass. One fourteen league bowler. High single one eighty five. High triple of four thirty eight. His high five is six ninety four. His high ten is thirteen seventeen. Bowls at Academy Lanes here in Haverhill, Mass. And Wakefield Bowlerdrome, Wakefield, Mass. Thin hit in the head pin has the pack. Well, I think it's four now. Four one split. Don Drake from Brewer, Maine. Thirty year older. One sixteen league bowler. High single one eighty six. Gets a break with a one and the six. Bloom trying to kick it over. Good try, almost. 6-10 left up. John Drake, 186 high single, high triple, 448. High five, 667. For a spare. Got it. 18, plus the ball through two. Bloom, a nine. 19 through two. Don Drake's high 10, 1241. High 20, 2394. Balls out of Bangor Brewer Lanes in Bangor, Maine. Fourth ball is a five. Here's Nick Leach having a good year. Also ball the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour this year. Just missed the playoffs with a very stacked conference. League average of 117 is highest ever this year. High single of 176. High triple of 446. High five, 672 out of Londonderry, New Hampshire. Home lanes lead to lanes, National New Hampshire. Nice ball with a 3 1 split. Four pins to the left, 3 6 10 to the right. Here's Scott Lapierre, no relation to Jeff Lapierre. Nice hot hockey ball, strike! But the wood of the gutter to take it, a strike to start the match. One string round for two points, one for a tie. Leach is open. Three, the four, and the ten. Scott Lapierre from Sanford, Maine. Nine for Nick Leach to start. Scott Lapier, 121 league bowler, 123 career high. High single of 207. High triple of 460. Has a high five of 727. And a high 10 of 1314 out of Bolarama in Sanford, Maine. Nick Leach, right down the middle of Bob Lee's Spread Eagle production. Lapierre, nice ball. Oh, Almost! Oh. It goes! Bang! Double strike to start the match! 30 plus bonus balls. Leach, he's up four. What a start for Scott Lapierre. Finally, a wobbling pin goes for somebody today. That was our first uh, double of the day. First, we come down to five broadcast. Six for Nick Leach, 14 through two. Academy looking for their first, Academy Lane's looking for their first win today. Is that the first double strike today? In our group. I, I heard someone else had one down the road. Nick Norcross, the anchor bowler for Academy Lane's. What's that? Is that the first double strike today we've seen? Oh, uh, maybe that we've seen. Nine, oh, Norcross. Oh, okay. Mark's Hollywood Smith. Nice. Check mark plus the 4-7. Scott, tell the viewers about who you are, and not related. We know you're not related to Jeff Lapierre. No, Hold on no. a second. Nick Norcross for spare. No, it's not related Got it. To Jeff. I know that. He might as well be my brother, though. I bowled with him for a long time. A lot of years I bowled with him. So, we won a lot of titles too. Tell the bowlers about your bowling career. One of your highlights of your career. Uh, probably my 207, Fitchburg. We already covered that. 2011. Smith, a nice yeah. angle start. Yeah, you see it right on YouTube. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Now, how many, how, only 200 games. How many mixed worlds and world, world tournaments have you been in? Uh, this is my first mix. Uh, I've been in Worlds since 2004. It was my first year in Worlds. So I've been in Worlds a long time, long time. I've been captain in team for almost 10 years now. Nick Norcross working a spare on lane 34 for Academy Lanes. In the pocket. Oh. 
Two one split. Seventeen after one. Mark Hollywood Smith. Two two split. Smitty's on my world team. Yeah, he's a good bowler. Corey, he's on my world team. See him in November. Corey's not bowling this match, so I don't get to see him. No, that's we'll see him next to him. We'll cover the team twice. Game. No cross could try. We kind of struggled last game, so. How many world tournaments for tournaments we bowled in, you'd say? Smith is open. I think this would be my 16th year. When, when we have it again, it would have been my 16th year two years ago. No cross a nine, 26 through two. Mark Smith gets an eight. I got Smitty. 16 through two. A lot so of how, fun. How's your team doing? So how are you doing so far today? Not bad, not bad. We're two and two. Won the first two, lost the last How about yourself? Two. How are you doing yourself? Not bad. I got five. Five seventeen for four. Take that. What's your high, what's your high strength? Uh, I started at 147, 130, 136. 147, 136, 115. I had a 121 last game. All right. Good start. Double strike to start. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Scott Thank Lapierre. Thank you. Back to the top of the order. Deanna Bisbee, B I S B E E, 16 through 2. Older sister Michelle Bisbee, who wins double events September 10th in Exeter with her six more teams for the 10 o'clock shift. Kitty Durant on a spare gets six, has four horsemen left, the one, two, four, and seven. 25 through 2. One string match. Deanna Bisbee, 4 7 with the beats of wood. Towards the right, yikes. Durant off to the right, missed it. Bisbee, all grand special, missed the second, make the third. By the way, thank you guys for what you guys do. You guys are awesome. I love watching you guys. I watch you guys at home all the time. So thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for kind words. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ten for Katie Durant. I'm sorry, eight for Katie Durant. Thirty-three through three. Katie Durant bowling for six years. Fiance of Chuck Derosius. Chuck a terrific bowler. Fiance. Katie, nice ball. Maybe split, 3 1 split. The 3 6 10, one piece of wood to the right, eight pins to the left. Deanna has the one and the nine. He has 26 through three so far. Katie leads up the 3 6 10. Katie Duran, New Hampshire State's doubles handicap title, first place in 2022. New Hampshire State mixed team handicap in first place also, 2022. This be a nine, 41 through four. Sorry, she's a 35 through four. Katie Durant, 41 through four. Screens don't switch like they do a Millis. Kim Kanga Smith, 19 through two. Sarah Duffy on the left, 17 through two. It's a one pin lead for Academy Lanes. The home team trying to win their first string. They lost the first four. All matches today will be up on Spreading Collective later tonight. But today, Smith, and people look at this. You gotta be kidding me. Breaks up the split, just a 10 pin now. Sarah Duffy trying to get a first mark. Smith in the hole. Duffy for spare. Looks good. She's got it. 27 of the ball for three. Kim trying to get the short two, and it's one, tough seven. 26 to three. All right, so on the scoreboard, it looks like Academy has a two pin lead, but of course, Scott LaPierre with a double strike. Kim just three that time. His next ball will count three, three times, and uh, the one after that twice. Sarah Duffy has a chance for the wood. The six ten to the right, the five to the left. Two pieces of wood. Kim Kanga Smith trying to pick this up somehow. He goes right. He's at the one four seven and the nine. Duffy for spare. Oh, Get it. That. Beautiful shot with the wood. Forty four in a ball. Second mark in a row. Yeah. 
Smith a seven. Two sevens in a row, 33 through four. All right, Bob, updating the scores here. Okay, well, we have a Dom Drake coming up with a spare, and after that, Scott left Pierre working on the double. But there's now a 12-pin lead for Academy, and they've got Sarah Duffy's spare in the hole. So it's, you know. And that includes the 30 pins for the double strike. Drake for oh, strike, goodness. let's go! Weevils wobble, <laughs> but they don't fall down. Well, I hope so. Two five left up. Billy Bloom gets four. Drake can't get to go. Billy had 19 his first two. Don Drake on the spare. Nice shot for Billy Bloom a spare. 29 in the ball. Drake with a 10. I didn't see a spare fill, Bob. Uh, it was that was the, what his eight was. His eight was a spare fill. Okay. So he said. 26 through 2, 36 through 3. Billy Bloom, 39, uh, 29 of the ball through 3 on the left on the red shirt. Drake, two pieces in the middle of the parallel pins plus the 8 and 10. Bloom off to the right gets 4. 33 through 3. Drake, nice ball, oh, beautiful good. shot, spare. Second mark of the string and a spare eight in the second, now a spare in the fourth. 46 to the ball. Bloom, good try. Leaves up the eight and the ten. Billy, nine. Billy Bloom, 42 through four. Here comes Scott Lapierre working a double strike at a 147 earlier today. A fifth and final match of the day. All five string matches, separate strings. Again, rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe for free on Spread Eagle Productions. All right, so this, this ball goes on top of the 20 in the first. And it's the first, it's the first of the two fills in the second. On the double strike for triple. Seven, 27 through one. 37 the ball through two. Nick Leach gets three. Nick had an eight and six to start. 14 through two. Calvin, block a strike to our left on lane 31. Lapierre, oh, what a try. That would have been a spare and double strike. Big nine, that's second fill though. 39 through two. Leach leads up the two and four. Nine for Lapierre. 48 through three, what a start. 46 through two, Paul. I'm oh, sorry, 46 through two? Yeah. Scoreboard's behind, 55 through three. Legion eight, 22 through three. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, Dr. David Greenblatt, 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass. 978-556-9700. 978-556-9700. personal foot doctors, Lafayette Steel's nine. Chronic pain in my right toe, took care of that. Great doctor, great specialist. Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, Haverhill, Mass where there's no pain and all gain, located next to Holy Family Hospital, Haverhill, Mass, 62 Brown Street. Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, and Dr. David Greenblatt. Check him out. Lapierre, a spare. There's a double strike and a spare, 65 and a ball through four. Nick Leach, the try, let go! You gotta be kidding me! A serious weeble there, wouldn't go. Can't catch a break. Nick with a 10, 32 through four. Not the start he wanted. All right, 10 pin lead, plus Team Kim, plus an extra hit. Mark Smith with Team Kim on the right, on lane 34 here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. The Mixed World Championships, first of three days, our final match today. Five today, 10 tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock, and six on Sunday, starting at nine o'clock, on Bowling Nerd Network, Candlepin Chat. Smith drills down seven, Nick Moore cross. Oh. It's a break, has the four and the seven. Nick had a spare seven and a nine, 26 through two. Smith, two eight, 16 through two, open. Mark from Norway, Maine, originally from Auburn, Maine. 118 
current average. No across the spare. Second spare in three boxes. 36 in the ball through three. Smith a 10. 26 through three. Marks high single, 203, high triple, 491. High five is 772. Check out these scores as high five, 772. 126, 163, 200, 163, and 120. 772, amazing. Back to us, the one and the 10. No cross on the bonus. It's six. No lemon drops the last couple of matches, but after 10, the first two. Six in the spare for Norcross, 42 and four. Bowlers looked a little nervous at the beginning. Smith for a spare, yes! 36 in the ball through four, he breaks through. His high 10 is 14-24, out of stars and strikes, South Paris, Maine. Grew up in Auburn Lanes in Auburn, Maine. Nick Norcross, another spare, two in a row, three in the first four, 52 in the ball through four. He's one of the uh, top five in the left of the uh, tournament champions for Al Johnson's Kennel Fence for Cancer, taping July 16th, Lee Lanes, National New Hampshire. Back to the top, we go to Katie Durant. 41 through four open. <laughs> Gets four, make it five. Kenneth Bisbee, 35 through four open. Gets eight, has the five and the nine, one piece of wood. Durant missed everything. You get it, Bisbee. 30 mile an hour fastball. Gets a spare. 45 half plus one. Kitty Durant looking for a bunch here. It's a tough five. 46 half. Deanna Bisbee loves racing, hunting, and softball. Let's see the softball. Right? You can see the softball. Yeah, my wife's a big softball yeah. fan. She played softball. She took her knee like three times in college. Bob, Bob you're a good softball player, too. I wish. I, I can play with the, uh, the 30 year olds. <laughs> oh, I get, a, I get a kid be just three that time. Deanna Bisbee on a spare. Close right, he gets four. 49 half. Okay, you trying to get a bunch here, only, oh, threw it away, none. Deanna has five left up. Still looking at seven. Katie and Chuck, her uh, fiance, Chuck DeRoja, is definitely uh, a fierce competitive bowler. It's a tough four. Brutal five and a brutal four. 50 through six. And a six for Deanna Bisbee, 55 through six. Sarah Duffy working a spare on the right in the red shirt for Academy Lanes. Look at the first win today. 44 in a ball, two spares in a row, and a spare seven in the third. We're chipping away at that lead, that 25 pin lead right now. Kim Kanga Smith in the right, 33, two three, sevens in a row, and four. And three, three spares to two for uh, Team Kim. The lead is big. Sarah, six in a spare, 50 through four. Kim gets a break, has the one, three, and a wobbling ten. Two pieces of wood. Good effort. He's at the four and seven. Kim looking for her first mark of the match. And got it! Hold off. I thought it went a little too far, but she got it. Carry. Fifty-three in the ball, halfway through the string. Sarah Duffy at nine, fifty-nine half for her. Solid string. Sarah uses two point seven pound bowling balls. One hundred seven league bowler from Lynn Mass. One fifty-three high single. It's four. Twenty pin lead for Team Kim right now. Look at those marks. Four marks to one. In favor. Hooks it right. Triangle for Kim, seven in the fill, 50 through five. Looking for two in a row. Looks good, and it won't go though. Try. Five pin left up the kingpin. Nice out. Nine, 68 through six for Sarah Duffy. 
for Academy Lanes. Team Kim, Kanga Smith, 10, 60 through six. Leads 28 plus uh, two extra hits. That's how it works. Two is two extra hits. Billy Bloom, 42 through four, open here on lane 34. Nice ball, strike! Second mark of the string. Tom Drake on a spear, 46 in the ball through four. It's seven, it's the one, the three, and the seven. 53 through four. A spare eight in the first, now a spare seven in the fourth. Looks good, he got it off the wall. Second in the row, third in the string. 63 F. It shows a strike up there. It's actually a spare. It's the the strike. No, he had a strike. No, John said a strike. It's a spare. They, did, they said strike. They just changed it. So 63 half plus a ball. Billy Bloom working a strike in lane 34 for double. Six in the first ball. Wood to help. Three nine and the six to the right. Seven pin left corner. Don Drake on a bonus on the head pin. Seven, two, the nine, the ten. Won't be easy. Seventy half. Bloom trying to kick it over, but go almost. Good try. Nine is the bonus. Billy. Billy Bloom was sarcastically voted Mr. Congeniality in 2022. This year. Drake's open. Billy Bloom. And 2010 when the Massachusetts State All Events Champion. That won't count, that's nine. 70 through six. Drake missed it again, seven box. 77 through six. All right, Bob Dayton scores here. So it's a 31 pin lead uh, and a one, one mark advantage. Scott LaPierre steps up in the bonus on your left on lane 33. Both Mark Smith and Nick Norcross in the anchor position are in the bonus. Nick Leach drops down nine. 32 through four. Scott Lappy a double strike now a spare. After that nine box double strike. It's six more. Good chance for the wood. The one, two, four, and the nine. 71 through four. Norcross, uh, Nick Leach rather missed it. Nick Norcross up next. Nick and Nick back to back. Black oh. can't convert. He's at the one and the nine. Leach a nine. That's the 41 half. Bowling can peddle all his life. Pulls the Friday night men's league. Black beer and eight. 79 half. Sensational. Nick Leach. Recently won the Pro Series doubles with Austin Barnes at Lita Lanes in Ashley, New Hampshire. They were the 12th seed in the qualifying round for the five strings, and they won the whole thing. 2 1 split, 4 7 and the 10 to the right. Pulled the U.S. Invitational last year, went to the quarterfinals. Austin Maria Sucks. Triangle plus the, looks like the 9 pin here, Bob, by distance. Triangle. A little obstructed view here. Leach could try. Oh, almost. Good effort. Nick Leach works as a machinist, has an associate degree in precision manufacturing from National Community College in Ashton, New Hampshire. As lap here is open. Leach a 10. Good pinning there. 51 through 6. Scott Lapierre a 9. 88 through 6. Scott got interested. His mother got him interested when he was younger. She was a national champion in the 1980s, his mother was. Scott says it runs in the family. Covers titles next time up. Got a lot of them. Nick Norcross on a good strength, 52 in a ball. Three marks on lane 34, the lefty on a bonus. Both bonus. Mark Smith on the left on a bonus, 36 in the ball before. Norcross had been 3-1 split, 58 through four. Mark Hollywood Smith on lane 33. Goes right, gets four. 40 through four. Northwest, he's up to two, four in the 10. 
I think a 117 league ball, a rear high 127. Oh, what a shot! Smith fired up a spare. Two in a row, 50 in the ball, 55. Low cross a nine, 67 half. Nick Norcross high single, 210. He also has a 202, 127 career high average. High triple, 496. High five, 763. High 10, 1426. It was an Arlington Mass, Richard from Woburn Mass. Back in the pocket, there it goes. Strike! 77 plus 236, Smith drills down nine on the spare. Meeting up now. 59 half. Tough piece of wood, looking for three marks in a row. Can he get it? Yes! Perfect shot on the cap! Three spares in a row for Hollywood Smith. 69 of the ball through six. Hollywood Smith with bonus money. Back to the top of the order, four blocks to go in the final string. For a 21 string weekend affair. Deanna Bisbee, 55 through 6. Great, great bullet from Nick Norcross, but Mark Smith matched him and it's still a 33 pin lead. Bisbee, nice ball, 5 7 lead. So you kick that wood over. 55 through 6. Katie Duran, 50 through 6. On lane 33 in the left. 3 3 split. Wood to help, maybe. 2 4 7 left. Triangle right corner, the 6 9 the 10. Bisbee tries to kick it over. Oh, right over the seven. Good try. Grant missed everything. Bisbee, nice pinning a 10. 65 through seven. And a spare four in the fifth. Katie, another tough box of five. A five, a four, and a five back to back. 55 through seven. Just takes a mark, get it back in it. 38 pin lead for Team Kim right now. Marks are even up, one apiece. This beat three to the right, three to the left rather. Katie Duran. Nice ball right there, but look at this. Four, seven to five to the right. A useless piece of wood to the right. Bisbee, he's up to one and the three. 172 high single for Deanna Bisbee out of South Paris, Maine. Stars and strikes. Jenny in the hole. Deanna Bisbee at eight. 73 through eight. Katie Durant, an eight, 63 through eight. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., live broadcast, 10 strings, 10 different matches, 10 separate broadcasts, right here at Academy Lanes. The Mixed Worlds Championships, 22, te 22 teams pulling 21 strings, one team once, each team pulls the other once. No playoffs, total points win, two for a win, one for a tie, nothing for a loss. Kim Kanga Smith on the right, 60 through six. Sarah Duffy, 68 through six on the left. Team Kim up by 38 on the right side. One, two, four, and ten for Kim Ganga Smith. Sarah Duffy, four, seven, nine, and ten. One piece of wood. Kim Boeing, since four years old, another girl involved. Part of three mixed team, three mixed team world championships. Good try. Don't act like you were worried about being a Bruins fan. You were worried. Nice try for Sarah. Won't go. It's a seven, nine, and a ten. Kim is a Can Am champion, also three-time ladies international champion. A main state handicap elimination champion. She gets a nine. 69 through seven. Sarah Duffy at eight. 76 through seven. Kim Kanga Smith, main state handicap elimination champion, and the Stars and Strikes house champion as well. And their favorite bowling moment was winning back to back mixed world championships. Only half was to right that time. Sarah Duffy in the pocket, but another split. Four, seven, five to the left. Sarah, 107 league bowler. 
High single at 153 from Lynn Nass. Kim goes left and leaves a five, make it four. In the hole. Kim, good shot, she got it. Nice shot. For a 10. 79 through 8 in an 8 box. Sarah Duffy, 84 through 8. Five string, it's, it's gone by so fast, hasn't it, though? Setting matches. Yeah, I'm getting into the rhythm. Now. Calvin is the best. Calvin. <laughs> Calvin, how's your, update you, how's your team doing? Terrible. We suck. No, seriously. <laughs> Are you 6 and 2 right now? No. So you yeah, three, six three wins? Two? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that what it is? Are you three winning this string? Uh, I think so. What's your high game today so far? Not very good. I'm not a good bowler. Well, Tim Matero says you're not any good anymore. Exactly. He <laughs> Just knows. kidding. He knows no, you're, the a good, truth. you're a great bowler. He knows the truth. Tom Drake on the right, 77 through 7. Millie Bloom on the left, 76, rather. Tom Drake, 77 through 6. Both open. Drake, yeah. nice shot there. Eighty-seven through seven for Dom Drake. Billy Bloom at eight. Seventy-eight through seven. Academy Lanes, one of the home two of the home two home teams from Academy Lanes, have not won a match in the first in the first four and trail by a lot here in this match. Drake goes left and gets five parallel pins plus the three pins to the right. Billy Bloom trying to start a late rally. Check mark. Five to the left, three, six, ten to the right, two pieces of wood. Drake for a spare, I got it! Good piece of wood to help, 97 the ball through eight. Room is open. Team Kim in the commanding lead. Bloom a nine. 87 through eight, time running out for Academy. Plenty of time left though, still have 16 matches, 10 tomorrow, 9 a.m. live broadcast on Bowling Nerd Network, rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. And if you're a great foot doctor, check out Merrimack Valley foot, foot Specialist, Dr. David Greenblatt, 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass. Mer Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, my personal doctor, David Greenblatt, did wonders on my foot. Pain free ever since the surgery, December 2nd last year. Lapioli was third strike, it's nine. 88 through six so far. Nick Leach 51 through six. And gets a break, has the one, pin only. Use a break. Lapierre missed it to the right, so close. Leach, got it. Breaks through finally, 61 of the ball through six, through seven rather, 61 of the ball through seven. Lapia Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third, 98 through seven. Dr. David Greenblatt, 978, 556, 9700, 978, 556, 9700, 62 Brown Street, next to Holy Family Hospital, Haverhill, Mass. Merrimack Valley foot specialist, no pain and all gain. Scott Lapia had a great day today. In the pocket again, breaks up the diamond, has the two, eight, half to the left, the five to the right, two pieces of wood. Leach on a spare, look at this. A Paul Grant half wester, my least favorite shot. Two in the fill, 63 through seven. <laughs> Lapierre. Oh, he got a domino shot. Pouring it on here. All that for a 10? I thought they put down 10. I thought it was a spare. They, they gave him a 10. It's a spare. They, they, yeah, they, they corrected. It's a spare. So I thought it was. Good try by Leach. Nine, 72 through eight. Scott Lappia, 108 in the ball through eight. A commanding lead for Academy, uh, for Team Kim over Academy Lanes. Yankee Bullis, Mark Hollywood Smith on the right. For Team Kim. Oh, cross looking for a double though. Oh, really need, he really needs one. Nick on fire. 77 plus 226. Hollywood Smith. 
on the spare, gets eight, has the six and ten. 77 through six. No across on a strike. A one five center whistle. You gotta be kidding me. DCU center there. Smith delivers another one. Three spares in a row. 87 the ball through seven. No cross, good bid. Got four on the right side. He's up four. A six in the strike bill. 83 through six. It's an eight. 91 through seven. Mark Smith has the main state doubles record with Tim Matera. A whopping 27-80. I tease Mark Smith, the main open championship he was in with Chris Merrill. Tim had a 14.59, Mark Smith had a 13.21. So I jokingly told him, Tim Matero carried you that day. <laughs> Mark's a great guy. Eight fill there. Big eight fill, 95 through seven. No across, two one split. Three six in the right, four to the left. Looking really good for Team Kim here. Mark with the roll with discount to five and 10. If I kick it over with the wood, you try. Mark has three cannon wins, two with Sue Neely and one with his wife Kim. He's won a pro series, a lucky strike in Lynn, multiple TV appearances in Maine, multiple Maine State tournament wins. Run from 2006 to Lou Albergini on Candle Pins for Dollars. As he gets a 10, 105 through 8, Nick Moore across a 9, 100 through 8. Mark Smith's also thrown five strikes throughout twice in his career. Two 200 games, 203 and 200. Punched out the one pin, the head pin, and made the spear twice in a row against Gary Carrington. <laughs> Good fun facts. Top of the goodie, Kenny Durant. I'm bragging about you, Mark Smith. Three there for you know, Mark Hollywood Smith. They were bragging about your stats. I need a, I need a scroll. For, I need a whole ream of paper just for your stats. Oh, I wish. You know, wish I was nearly as good as that. Decided to show up for TV this time. And what did you, what, how many, you, two and, how many, you won two matches so far today coming in? We're, yeah, we're 500. We're 500 yeah. Two and two, so you look at me, a good chance to win your third one here. Oh, we need it. Yeah. yeah. Ten strings tomorrow. Yeah. Six on Sunday. Yeah. What's your favorite bowling moment, uh, Mark Hollywood Smith? My favorite bowling moment? Yeah. I know you get too many to pick from. Oh man, I do have a lot, but obviously the best one is bowling uh, 186 on TV. Back in 89, I think it was. Through a four bagger and stuff. One on TV. Channel so. 5 or up Main? No, up in Main. Can't up in action. It's actually Fox 51. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, you know, I've come in second a lot of times. I've not really won the world. See, so, you're, so you're bridesmaid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. You're a great guy, great bowler. Mark Hollywood Smith. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Again, Bisbee, 8, 81 9, Katie Durant, 9, 72 through 9. Got a tough string, but hopefully she'll bounce back tomorrow. Great upside for her. Only bowled for six years. Katie, nice 10, 82 string. Tempe Deanna Bisbee, 91 string. Eight boxes to go in the match. Big lead for Team Kim. Looking to go six and two. Ted Millions looking at 0 and 10 to start. Now what they pictured. Sarah Duffy on the right, 84 through eight. Kim Kanga Smith on the left, 79 through eight, both open. Half whistle left. 10 strings live tomorrow on Bowling Green Network and Candlepin Chat. Starting 9 a.m. tomorrow and 9 o'clock, six springs on Sunday to wrap up this mixed world championship. Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. If you're in the area, stop by, check out the new restaurant. Just opened up today. Brand new, beautiful restaurant. They took out four lanes, 48 to 44. Good bid by Duffy. And they have a nice, beautiful restaurant and bar. They have very spacious, very roomy, very accommodating. Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Long, long the hole. Just in time for the Mixed Worlds, and the World Tournament will be here in November also. Nine for Sarah Duffy. 93 through eight.
pin for the seven. 86 to nine. I love getting those five or six pins when you're staring at eight in the third ball. A little break there, the one, two, and four. Sarah Duffy on lane 34. Kim Kangas Finch just punches out two there. Sarah can't connect. Again, trying to bounce back, looks good, but won't carry. Has the 5, 8, and the 10 to the right, one piece of wood. Nice pinning 10. Sarah Duffy, 103, the string. Nine for Kim Kanga Smith, 95. Bob, always great working with you. Tell the, the viewers about Spread Eagle Productions. Well, you know, I, I say that the beginning of it was here last year. Um, I just showed up with my uh, with my brand new computer and I set up a live stream and kind of did the best I could, but I, I had a pin cam at the time. Uh, I got about 10 of the 17 streams to work. That's one of the reasons I call it Spread Eagle Productions. I tried to get everything everything set up. I looked at all the YouTube videos and thought my microphone would be working. You never knew. Jake the took, I guess three. Took a lot of mistakes. <laughs> But, uh, Dropped on nine for spare. Got it with the one. Now we're, we're putting up, we're putting up sometimes six, eight, ten matches a week. Now we're getting fifteen hundred viewers a day on our YouTube channel. The our network is is e even got a larger audience. Although the people that the watch, the people that sit down and watch, are actually watching on YouTube. We're we're watching. You know, we're getting, we, we've averaged over the last year. We're not just average. People have spent four years and five months watching candle pin bowling on our network, and I'm real proud of that because I, I, I see each one of those. A lot of it was really good. Sponsors, I hope you heard that one. Help sponsor this great game of candle pin bowling. Help sponsor the women's double event September 10th. X Lanes, X New Hampshire, and the Atlanta candle pin singles tour next year. Also coming to Maine. Meanwhile, I got to catch up on that score. With All right, Sarah Duffy. All right, Billy Bloom. Nice ball for a strike. It's nine on the spare. 106 to nine. Drake three in the spare, 100 to eight, eight, nine rather, one and a half. The strike in the 10th. 119 plus two. Bloom missed it. And gets a 10 that time. 116 for Billy Bloom. Good string. Team Kim in the lead. Don Drake on the bonus, sizzle six. 125 string for Don Drake. Is he on a strike? I thought it was a spare. It was a strike, my fault. It was a strike, look at the wrong screen. So I'm making a nine fill, making a 128 for Don Drake. Lost track of the, it's easy to lose track here. The scoreboards don't switch, and they don't put the scores in right away. Oh, well, we were talking. Easily get distracted here. This place, you should see, if you can just come here as a fan, this place is packed. It's standing room only crowd. It's loud here. We're a little further back. Nick Leach on a tough string. Finally got a spare in the seventh, but it half was to fill, so half was to hear. Scott Lapp in a bonus, had double strike earlier, and steals the head pin, has the 2 4 lead. 1 16 to 8. Leach leads up the 4 and the 7. Nick, the 117 league bowler, high single, 176. Lapierre, oh, hit Robert the Wood that time. Nick Leach at 10. 82 to 9. Lapierre 9. Scott, I'm no relation to Jeff Lapierre, line 33. Scoreboard is not updated. There it goes. 125 to 9. Four pins to beat uh, his teammate Don Drake. Leach gets six as the one, two, four, and the eight. Again, live broadcast tomorrow and Sunday, 9 a.m. start times. 
10 separate strings tomorrow, 10 separate broadcasts, six on Sunday. Total points wins, no playoffs. Mixed World Championship, Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. You can buy, check out the restaurant and bar. Just started today. Nick Leach, a spare in the 10th, second mark of the string. 92 in a ball. Lafia used the wood, won't go. Lapierre 10, 135 for Scott Lapierre. Just want to mention that Scott Lapierre had 17 combined main state titles, spanning mutual adult, five pro series titles, including two singles. Nick Leach, good fill, nine, 101. Five pro series doubles uh, for Scott Lapierre, five pro series titles, including two singles, two doubles. One with Jeff Lapia, no relation. One with Craig Holbrook. Well, his high single 207 the final of the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder in 2011. It was the number one seed the World's yeah. Singles Knockout for the 727 into the final four in the World's Tournament. Nick Norcross, the big train collector. You know, Caleb Van Bolling, this, this story of Buff. That's 100 through 8 open. Mark Hollywood Smith 105 through 8 open. It's 4. <laughs> Team Kim is going to win. They go to 6 and 2. Academy Lanes is going to drop to 0 and 10. Smith won't go. No cross. Nice out. 10. 10 1 10 through 9. Bob, will these uh, matches be on Spread Eagle Productions tonight, later on tonight? Probably. Um, yeah, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send them from here tonight. I'm gonna have to get home to my house in Sharon. But uh, yeah, I should have time to put up three or four, maybe five. And then the rest of the match may take some time. Sunday, night, Monday, the rest of the matches on YouTube on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe for free. Well, tomorrow, Greg Weard is gonna. Arrive and uh, help out, maybe between. Hollywood between Smith, us. a strike in the oh, tenth. Yeah, 125 plus two. Uh, he thinks he might be able to catch La Lafayette. If he gets ten more, uh, if he gets a lemon drop, I'll have to tease him. <laughs> These five strings flew by so fast, didn't they, Bob? They're having so much fun. On the strike, eight. Oh. Needs to convert for bragging rights to beat his teammate Scott Lapierre. Well, to tie him now. He's at, one, He's at 133 right now. Right he needs now. To, he needs to convert. To tie. He needs a lemon drop to win. And it got it to the wood. Didn't go initially. Got a break. 135. Tied him. Tied him up. So one more bonus play tied Scott Lapierre. And what a dominant performance by Team Kim. They take it by 72 pins. Bob, your thoughts on today's matches? Al, Al Nelson's the highlight shot that of the was, day. The third match fun. day. And, and, and you know, that, that game was down, the score was down near 500, but that one was up near 600 here for uh, Team Kim. We'll see, we'll see a wide variety of bowlers. It's really, it's really fun. That's it's the really one. fun. Guys was, from Maine, guys from Canada. I, it, it's really a joy to be here. <laughs> Mark Smith. Mark Hollywood Smith. <laughs> you couldn't be you couldn't be your teammate. You couldn't get a double strike to beat him by one at least. No, I mean I gotta let him feel good for now. It's a long weekend. You got just your win. Nice bowling tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, all right, can't wait. All right, so Bob, your final thoughts before we sign off. I will see you. We have a lot of bowling this weekend. No softball for me this week. No, Bye for now. Either. Next weekend. <laughs> Next weekend. All right, so we're going to sign off for now. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. for Academy Lane Table yep, Mass. Day two of three from the Mixed World's Championship. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, say so long. Thank you for watching this great game of Caleb and Bowling. And catch the rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Thank you.